Hi Scorpio, welcome to the new series. This will be what's happening with the ex. For some of you, this could be your soulmate that we're looking at. Um, and for others, it could be an ex-partner or maybe the partner and you are separated. But what we wanna do is we wanna see what's going on with them, um, specifically with them, where they're at in their, in their life um, you know, whether they're with somebody else, whether they see you, we're going to take a look at their current situation. We're going to see what is uh, their hopes and fears, what's blocking them in their life, and the advice outcome as well as a glimpse at the future, okay? And hopefully you'll be in it, but we shall see so what we have is the ace of swords and the princess of wands you know the ace of swords is communication this is about true and clarity so this communication is very very clear it's a new beginning based on truth you know and the princess of wands is a person who is passionate energetic vibrant um very creative and they want to start a new beginning in their life in their love life with that passion with that energy and that creativity and they also with truth and clarity okay now this also can indicate that they have been what i'm hearing is for a for this person, whomever this is, for this group of them, they've been enlightened somehow a little bit from above. They've received the communication from the other side and they're moving forward in a passionate way to start their life over, all right? Now the star card is here and this is indicating hope. This is about faith, it's about healing this person is actually going through the healing process which is wonderful this is indicates the wish card this is also this is enlightenment from above so they've been receiving messages and they're growing as an individual it's like what i'm seeing is they understand now truth and clarity is key to a relationship and they may not have recognized that they may not have recognized that with you or with anybody else in their life. For this group of individuals, the exes, they grew up in an environment that taught them to lie, to, now maybe it was the wrong thing that was done for the right reason, okay? I know that, think about that. The wrong thing done for the right reason. So maybe the family taught them to lie for, uh, protection for security reasons okay but the point is they were taught to lie from their first family and they carried that forward into their life and it resulted in dysfunctional relationships and unfortunately you're part of that so they have been working on healing on growth actually healing taking the energy and the passion and moving forward in their life, bringing this into their life with truth and clarity, okay? Now they understand it, which is good. And then we have the hopes and the fears. So what is blocking them? We have, or I mean, excuse me, the hopes and fears is the emperor and the ten of pentacles. So they hope to acquire a very long-term relationship they want the truth and clarity. They want the passion and the excitement in this, the adventure that goes along with being in love. They want this in their brand new beginning. So they're really healing so that they can have a new beginning, which is wonderful. But, you know, we're looking at the emperor. The emperor is very stoic. And this is for male, this is man or woman. It doesn't matter whoever the ex is. They don't know how to open up. So they want to open up and speak the truth. They want to open up and heal and move forward. They want the Ten of Pentacles as well. But here's the flip side. What they want is actually what's blocking them. When we're dealing with somebody who's the emperor, this is a very stoic individual. They are not open to receive, okay, to change. They 
they know what works and they stand strong by what works. This person can create a wonderful environment. They can create a very long-term relationship, but they have to open up and be able to express their love in truth <laughs> with clarity. <clears throat> and so now what we're going to look at is what is blocking them the advice and the outcome and we're also going to take a look at their future and get a glimpse of where they're moving from this point into the next point so if you want to click that link below we will finish this up on vimeo and i'll see you on the other side